Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the dashboard widget analytics feature of Element Pack Pro version 6. Let's learn everything about it. First of all, go to your WordPress dashboard and click on Element Pack Pro to visit the plugins dashboard. Here you will see four new circles charts on top which are the dashboard widget analytics. The first circle chart counts all widget both used and unused as well as shows their total number. It shows both core and third party widgets together. The second circle chart shows the core widget analytics only. Core widgets are those that are independent of any third party add-ons. Here you can see the number of used widgets, the number of unused widgets, and the total number. The third circle chart is for counting the third party widgets. Then let's go to the individual widget tabs. Clicking on the core widgets tab will filter everything except for the core widgets on the display. You can see two new filter options for used and unused. Clicking on the used button will display widgets that have been used inside your website or pages. You can see the number of uses per widget right below their title. Clicking on the unused button will show all unused widgets that have not been used anywhere on your website. Note that both used and unused filter shows both active and deactivated widgets as long as they have been used. Another thing is. You can select the unused filter and then click on the deactivate all button to simply turn off all unused widgets in one go. This feature works for all types of filters inside the Element Pack Pro dashboard. Thus, you can save a lot of space and boost your site further. Now let's have a look at the third party widget analytics and then go to its tab. Here, clicking on the used filter will show you third-party widgets, just like what we saw on the previous tab. Now click on the unused tab to see the list of the unused third-party widgets. All third-party widgets on Element Pack Pro need to be installed first to use them, unless it will be automatically deactivated and will appear on the unused list. Then the active and deactive buttons won't be effective on those uninstalled widgets. Plus, any Element Pack Pro that has been used inside your website but is currently deactivated from the dashboard will appear in the used filter. This goes for both core and third party plugins. The fourth and final circle chart shows the number of active core widgets, third party widgets, and extensions to help you see the total stat of the plugin. The dashboard analytic feature will help users see a detailed inspection on the features so that the user will know what's running in the background and what's not. That's all about it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.